Hi everyone! I thought I would do something a little bit different today. So firstly, face to face. This doesn't happen very often and for good reason. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm currently on holiday um, for my mum's 70th birthday and we are in sunny Skeg Vegas or Skegness as some of you UK people might know it better. <laughs> And yeah, we're just, we're here for the week and we're in a caravan at Southview Leisure Park. Um, everyone has gone into town today. Again, <laughs> I stayed back because yeah, town's, town, you know, going to town once is enough for me. Um, it's the same stuff every day, so we don't need to be going into town multiple times a day, uh, a week. So yeah, I'm staying back today. I have my Nintendo Switch here. I have uh, a Take a Break magazine. So I do the puzzles in these. Um, I've got got my Switch, got my Take a Break, got my colouring. I've got my Kindle if I want to do some reading got a tv over there i've got mum's balloons still up <laughs> um so i've got plenty to do here um we played oh my fingers in the way you can tell i don't vlog very often we had a family card game of uno last night which was myself my brother and kelly his girlfriend and oh my gosh <laughs> one round was the longest round of uno ever <laughs> Um, my, brother, my brother likes to sort of make rules up as he goes along with Uno. And um, we used to do it where you could stack the twos on the fours. So for anyone that doesn't know, you get like plus four cards in Uno where you have to pick up four. But if someone lays another plus four on top, you have to pick up eight. And I think there's only two plus fours in the whole deck or something. Um, and there's about six plus twos. Uh, my brother liked it where we used to be able to stack the plus twos and the plus fours. So you could end up picking like 20 plus cards up. I was like, no, that that's not actually the rules. The rules is that you pick like a plus four up and put it on a plus four. Um, and you can't stack a plus two on a plus four and vice versa. So he decided to play by the rules. <laughs> and... But he wanted to to start with 10 cards instead of 7, so it lasts a bit longer. And I'm like, well, no, that's not the rules either. The rules is you start with 7 cards. I said, but on the console version of Uno that I play, when you the, there's an option, um, one of the rules you can set, of when you pick up a card, say someone lays a blue 4 and you don't have a blue or a 4, um, or another colour of a 4, you can pick a card up and the normal rules you just pick up one card and it moves to the next person but in these altered rules on the console edition <laughs> you can um pick a card up but you keep picking up until you've got one that you can lay down so be it a blue a four um in any color blah 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 so yeah, we, we played that rule and it definitely did add some cards to our hand. Um, we went through the deck about four times, if not more, like picking up cards um, because none of us had a card that could get us out. And every time we did, we'd get like hit with plus twos, plus fours, or they'd change the colour to one that they knew we didn't have. And we'd end up picking up half the deck before we found one that we could lay down. So it definitely made it interesting. And I think we finally got out at about, I want to say half past midnight or something. So yeah, it was definitely interesting. Um, and I think we're probably playing Uno again tonight. We did go in the clubhouse last night. Um, we played bingo. That was £18, and you get five games in total. Um, it was very strange how they did it, though, because normal bingo, you played, like, a line, two lines, and a full house, or just a line and a full house on the same 
game. So the first game last night was a line and it's linked with all the other Park Dean resorts. So it's not just the Skegness one. So if someone called in one of the other resorts, they won, their, their card was checked and that was it. We went on to the next game. So someone called up for a line in one of the other resorts and then they said, okay, game two, turn your game over onto the second page and we'll go for a full house. And we're like, eh, what? You usually do the full house on the line page that you've just done. But no, nope, they, they do it completely different. And we're like, well, that's kind of a waste of money, games and paper, but okay. But literally some of the prizes, like the last full house was 3,400 something, I think. And if you got, if you called up on a number that ended in a five, which were all like marked red, all the numbers that ended in five, you got an extra 500 pounds. So we were like, this is nice money if you can win it, which we obviously didn't because we're not that lucky, but it, it would have been really nice to win some money. Um, we might play again another day, maybe tomorrow or something. It is quite pricey, like £18 per person. Um, so it's like, meh bit pricey not if you win your money back but obviously the chances of that with all the other resorts are pretty slim so yeah after that um they had like a, a guess the tune but it was like guess the movie in three songs so she was like, oh, we'll play three songs and I want you to guess what the movie is. This is song one. I heard the first two beats of that song. It went doo doo. And I went dirty dancing. Literally, that was all I heard. Doo doo. I was like, that's dirty dancing. And then obviously the rest of the song played. I was like, haha, told you. So, yeah, that was just like a for fun one though. But And then after that we had a quiz i think they call it what do they call it game show time game for a laugh and it was a quiz and i swear it was meant to be about movies last night but it was like four different rounds there was 20 questions round one was music round two was history round three was sport and round four was potluck some of them were multiple choice some of them were just you had to know the answer and my team consisted of me, mum, my brother and his girlfriend. And one of the questions was something about talking heads and U2. And I just saw, obviously, U2. And the only U2 song on that multiple choice was With or Without You. So I was like, it's With or Without You. It's U2. And my brother's like, no, it's not. It's um, Road to Nowhere. And I'm like, but it says U2. He's like, yeah, but talking heads, something to do with you two. And I'm like, but it's you two, so is it not the you two song? So anyway, I put my gut instinct, which was with or without you, and it turns out it was the road to nowhere, which was my brother's. So he was like, yeah, see, you should listen to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but then I got payback on him. Because on the history question, it was um, who got bombed or something in Pearl Harbor. It was something to do with Pearl Harbor. And I'm like, it's the Americans. It was the USA. And my brother was like, no, it's the Japanese. I'm like, no, it was the Americans. And so I went with his gut instinct that time against my own. And went with, I put Jap uh, the Japanese. And it was America. So I was like, huh, see, you should listen to me. <laughs> so it was tip for tap. We got one wrong each. Um, but apart from those two, I answered the rest myself because everybody else was like, eh. So take out those two that we got wrong. Um, I got 14 of our 16 out of 20 correct 
all by myself. So I thought that deserved a pat on the back. Um, yeah, so we had the quiz night. Uh, the winners got like a bag of goodies or something. I don't really know what it was. Uh, but there was three teams that got 20 out of 20. So that was cool. They had a tiebreaker question. It was how many minutes was the longest kiss recorded or something. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's like three days. And I wasn't in the tiebreaker anyway, so it didn't make any difference. But I was sat there trying to do maths. I'm like, right, so there's 60 minutes in an hour. There's 24 hours in a day. So 24 times 6 is blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm sure it's going to be like, I don't know. I don't know how many I didn't get to work, do my workings out in time before they put their answers in. And it was 3,000 and something minutes. So I'm not sure whether that equates to three days or not. But my guess was around three days. Um, and then after that, we had what they call Trooper Showtime, which is different every night. It's like an entertainment act of some kind. And last night it was um, songs for musicals. So we had four girls on the stage, um, two of which were very good, very good singers. Um, and they carried the other two, which were <laughs> singers, a uh, bit flat and a bit off key. <laughs> bit... Yeah. But the other two were fantastic. So they were like singing Chicago and West Side Story and a bit of Disney. So we had The Lion King. Um, so, yeah, it was it was not a bad night out, you know. And then, obviously, like I said, we came home and played Uno afterwards. So, yeah, that was that. Um, tonight, I don't think we're going to bother going in there. I have the the uh, entertainment plan here. And it's it seems more aimed towards children tonight. I'm just going to put my phone down here for a second. Oh, OK. No, I'm not. My uh, stand doesn't want to cooperate. One second. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, so it seems more geared towards children tonight. You've got the bingo sales between quarter to six and quarter to seven. And then it's Starland Crazy. So it's an hour entertainment for the kids. Then it's the actual bingo, which takes half an hour. Then it's Hub Challenge Boy Band versus Girl Band, which is only like 15 minutes. So it's just another one of those, guess the song, guess who sung it or something. Uh, 7.45 to 8 is Zombie Rave. So again, I'm assuming for the kids. 8pm till 8.30 is Party Dance Time. Um, 8.30 till 9, Halloween Madness and Mayhem. Still kiddie-fied, I think. 9pm, you've then got your act for the night, which is Trooper Spotlight. Um, I don't know what it is tonight. We'll have a look on the board when we go that way. And then from 10 o'clock onwards, I think it's 10 till midnight every night, you've got uh, The Hub, which is just you request your songs and things on the... Uh, you scan the QR code on your phone and request songs and things like that. So I don't think we're going there tonight. Um, knowing my family, they'll want to go into Skegness to play on the arcades and maybe play on the, you know, the old fashioned bingo where you slide across the little black windows on the plastic board thingies. They'll perhaps want to go and do that for a couple of hours. So I may or may not go in. I'll see how I'm feeling. Talking a lot gives you dry mouth. But tomorrow night, I would quite like to go in there because it's similar to Monday night. So bingo sales, you've got your Starland Crazy Crew Showtime, which is for the kids, which is for an hour. Then you've got the actual bingo. Then it's Hub Challenge Chart Toppers, which is just, again, the guess, the song, whatever. 7.45 till 8pm is Best Dressed Table. No idea what that is, but it's for 15 minutes, so I wouldn't have thought it was anything huge. Then 8 till 8.30, you've got 
uh, game show time game for a laugh. I'm not sure whether that's going to be another quiz or something else. Then you've got Madness and Mayhem, fun for all the family. I'm not sure what that is. Then you've got Troop Showtime, which is entertainment for the evening. And 10 o'clock onwards, you've got karaoke. Now, I do like singing. I never have the balls to get up on stage and actually do it. So um, I like just to sit there and watch other people and <laughs> be like a little judge and go, no no oh no oh no <laughs> kind of that that thing but whether they will come with me or not i don't know so yeah that's kind of what's happening over the next couple of days nothing too exciting um i think tomorrow's weather is meant to be fine until night time when we're meant to be getting this storm I don't know what it's called. It begins with a B. It's a weird name. <clears throat> We're meant to be getting a storm come across, which is meant to stay with us for the rest of our holiday, which will be fun. So we need to do indoor activities for the rest of the week. So Thursday, which is the first rainy day, I think. Tomorrow or Thursday. I think my brother's girlfriend is planning on going into the Skegness Aquarium. And I've not actually been in there. I've been to the nature land here loads of times. I love it. I love anything animal related. Um, so, yeah, I, I said to Steve this morning, would you want to go to the aquarium with me? And he was like, yeah, sounds fine. So we might do that one day. I'll take pictures if we do. And uh, share them on my Instagram. Um, you will have probably already seen them by the time this video goes up because I can't upload any videos here. It's two megabytes per second, which is... <coughs> um, and unless you pay, I don't know how much money it is, but it's, it's not something I'm willing to do <laughs> for premium internet. And their premium internet is 20 megabytes per second, which is still pretty... <coughs> when at home, mine's like... 50 60 megabytes um i won't be uploading until the weekend unfortunately so you will have already seen my posts on instagram and what i got up to during the week before this vlog even goes live so i'm going to show you what i'm currently working on uh, i don't think i can turn my camera around which is a bit weird so i'll see you in the next clip Okay, so this is what I'm currently working on. I brought a few books away with me. Um, one of them being The Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanoko Igusa. And I really wanted to tackle this double page spread for Halloween. And this is as far as I've gotten so far. I haven't managed to do much colouring yet. But we've got Miss Slime Cake. I always picture chocolate cakes with green slime, I don't know why. And then we've got our doggy and bandages. And my sky, which took me quite a while to do. I've still got another one of those to do over here, so not looking forward to that. But yeah. So, this is what I'm currently colouring. But I'm going to pop my... Um, shoes and jacket on and we're gonna go for a little walk around the complex near where I'm positioned with my uh, holiday home and I'll show you around so see you in the next clip okay so I'm not sure how much you're actually gonna hear of this because it's a bit windy but this is our holiday home it's a bit windy today a bit bracing this is the little area that we are on at Southview. So there's a few holiday homes around, there's not too many. Um, I'm going to walk to the main section of the venue, which is just down here. Um, you turn right up that way and then you're at the main area. So I will see you in the next clip when I'm in the main area. Scratch that. 
I've literally just walked past this holiday home and thought, what a lovely holiday home. It's got like a conservatory built onto it and I've never seen one like that before. And then it has a nice little um, garden, which you can't see from here. Yeah, it has a nice little garden in there. Very, very cute. It's actually quite a nice day today. We have lots of ducks and geese here. Obviously, you have your pigeons as well. But there's quite a lot of like lakes and things. Oh, look, here we go. Hang on, let me go into the next clip. Hello. Hello, duck ducks. Look at them all. <laughs> so we have been naming them. We've had Huey, Dewey and Louie. Then we had Donald and Daisy. But we need a, a sixth one because we've got six and we only usually see five. But yeah, they're just plodding about. Hello. Are you coming to see me? No. No, you don't want to eat that. It's a stone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're so cute. I don't have anything for you, I'm afraid. I don't. But it's nice to see you. You're going to go back with the rest of your family. Huh? I'm going to carry on walking this way. See you later. <laughs> so, yeah. We have a pond there. Oh, is that a rabbit? Oh, there's a car. Let me get off the road. <laughs> It's another duck, but we have one of the ponds here, like so. It's just a really nice area, it's quite chill and zen. <laughs> we come around this corner that I told you about, so we're really not that far, it's literally a five second walk. You come to the main road, so behind our caravan, which is down that way. It does get a little bit noisy sometimes there's lots of traffic going behind us um, if the TV's on you can't really hear it but yeah quite a bit of footfall traffic going that way and then we have here owner services and reception which is that building there I'm going to cross the road here, safely, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, we've got Southview Park Dean Resorts. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever been here. The fun starts here. So we have the boathouse and the shop down that way and I haven't actually been there yet uh, down that way so who knows I might go for a little walk today. There's also carting bikes, chess boards, pizza box, scoops, may even get a donut if it's open. <laughs> uh, the indoor pool, the adventure golf, outdoor stage so obviously this would be a lot nicer in the summer when it's bustling and there's a lot more people around and things open um, then we've got this area over here I haven't found that area yet either we've may mainly been staying in this area which is where I'm going now but yeah it looks like there's another scoops here which serves Costa Coffee, which is quite nice. So yeah, let's go and have a little wander this way. So here we've got the, the caravan um, sales, holiday homes for sale. And I have every intention on having a nosy round there at some point. We have our main reception area 
the fish and chip shop is the blue one there then you have the show bar which is where we go on a night and it has the arcades and also the games console area in it you have thunderbird fried chicken stand there which smells amazing but i can't eat fried chicken because of the spices on it but we had some chips from there last night they were rather nice so yeah i'll um quietly walk into the show bar and just sort of show you around right so as we come up to this area um it's really good here because when you're in the show bar if you want a drink or food or anything you literally just scan the qr code register your phone online and then you can have everything brought to your table so you don't have to get up for anything so like this thunderbird chicken they come in there and deliver to your table tonight this is the show bar menu so it says today is absolute i'm not sure who they are tomorrow is mercedes bailey thursday is lauren smith friday is nostalgia so yeah i don't know any of these acts at all and they have to google them but that's what's on the board this week and then obviously you've got your your linked bingo <laughs> Now I'll take you for a walk into the show bar and the arcade area, but I won't be talking because I'll look weird. them and outfits and whatnot then you have the refreshments area here it's all been done for Halloween obviously and at night time this is open it serves drink ice creams popcorn things like that and that's the main show bar looks like they're doing something for babies at the moment which is kind of cute I won't focus my camera on them and then up here we have the main bar area, like so. So last night we were sat just where that bar is there, just in the table underneath it. And yeah, we had a good view of the of the show that was on. We've got vending machines as well, in case you get peckish. Yeah, that is the show bar. I'll see you up. So there is a hotel on this complex too. Um, we went in there on the first day actually. My brother went 
into town to get my mum's balloons blown up and everything. And uh, I stayed back here and decorated the caravan with what I could um, whilst she was gone. And then I ran out of things to do. So I came and joined my hubby, Steve, and my mum over here in the hotel where they were having drinks. She got a free drink for her birthday, which was very nice. And we also had a meal in the restaurant in the evening for her birthday. And they gave us 20% off. So very, very nice customer service here for birthdays and things. So look at this area, it's so pretty. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the complex go and see some of the birds and try not to get attacked by the geese although I don't know which pond they're on today because this area here is usually flooded with geese and it's not today so we have more cars coming in we have a bus that comes in here as well every 10 minutes or so that takes you to Fancy Island or into Skegness main town Looks like we have a nice swan here. Yay, sunshine. We like sunshine. Let's go and see this swan and hopefully it won't attack me. He's a big swan, jeez. Hello. Hello. Oh, here comes a geese, look. <laughs> So yeah, I really like this area. This would be beautiful to like, oh hello Mr. Duck, or Mrs. Duck I should say. Yeah, this area would be lovely to have like picnics around. Hello. In the, oh look at them all coming. <laughs> I don't have anything. In summer is what I'm trying to say. Oh God, Canada, Canada geese. Ah. <laughs> don't want to get attacked by the geese. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Mallard. How are you? Hello. Hey. So, yep, yeah, we've got another geese over here. The swan's very thirsty. Either that or he's like filtering something out of the water. Don't really know what. But we'll carry on on our journey. We'll get out of the geese's way before he attacks me. This is the Southview Hotel. Or Southview Park Hotel. Um, if I think we're planning on eating in here again tonight. I'm not sure whether we're going to go here or the boathouse. But it was rather nice to sit in here the other day uh, and have dinner. So we do a thing when we come on holiday with coffees and meals. Whereas in me and Steve will buy like the round of coffees. The next time my mum will buy the round of coffees. Um, it, oh, <laughs> and they're the same with the dinners. So we'll buy breakfast and then she'll buy dinner and then the next day we'll buy dinner she'll buy breakfast so yeah this is the hotel i can take you for a quick mooch around there so you can see the lobby people sitting in the courtyard and eating. That's where we went the other day. This is the main lobby. So they're serving lunch at the moment I think. And then you've got the bar area. We sat on that sofa there and had a drink. So yeah that's the main hotel lobby. I'm gonna go out and show you the front of the the entrance to the building. Okay, so let's 
walk over the bridge. <laughs> Don't know why, but while we've been here, we've had Yorkshire accent. <laughs> so if I keep speaking like in Yorkshire accent, ignore me. So here's another part of the park. I'll just pop myself here a minute. So we've got some more geese down here. And this is right out the front of the hotel area. So I'm gonna have a walk down that way there, that road. And to show you like the entrance of, of the place that complex. There's another pond area over there. See the weather's looking a bit slightly ominous but not too bad because that sun's out. So if there is wind noise I do apologise. I'll try and uh, sort it out during editing. Oh look here's where all the geese are. Should we see if we can get tapped? <laughs> Let's cross the road. Nothing coming, no. Also, if the camera's a bit shaky and bouncy, I apologise. I'm doing this handheld. I'm not the best camera woman. <laughs> it's kind of really my first stint at vlogging properly, so something I enjoy which I am at the moment I should get like a gimbal which makes the walking a lot more smoother because the gimbal moves with your phone hello geese hello geese hello look at more hello over there as well so we'll carry on walking this way and I'll show you the front of the park so here's the main entrance to the park it gets quite noisy up here with traffic <laughs> because we've got the main road area of South View so you can buy any of these holiday homes here. I thought while I was going by I'd just go in and have a little nosy because why not right? Free pitch fees until 2025 on selected holiday homes. You can buy this holiday home from £31,995, which is £470 a month, so a lot cheaper than <laughs> than uh, rent, but obviously then you have your site fees, but not until 2025. And this one's got £3,000 off it as well. Loan term 84 months, total loan amount 
£28,795.50. Total amount payable £42,714.70. 9.9% APR, 5.31% flat rate. If any of that means anything to anybody, let's go and have a nosy, shall we? So, this is called Empress by Delta. Let's go and have a nosy. It's rather nice and cosy, look. I feel like I'm intruding on someone's home because it's decorated so nicely. <laughs> yeah, that's quite nice. Um, bit sort of, a little bit oldy worldy for my taste. I like the, the choices of colour, like the, hello, there's the bathroom or the toilet. So it's got an ensuite. I like the grey and or the brown and the orange autumnal colours obviously. So we'll close this room slightly. And we've got a door here, which is a twin bedroom. Which they've obviously decorated out as an example for the kids. We've got a nice sized shower room I like that it's got like a big living area so we've got the dining area the seating area with a TV that's far too tiny <laughs> that's quite nice I would say, no offence to anybody, obviously, but this is more geared towards a retired couple, maybe, because of the, the choice of decor. But it may, may not be. But that's just the vibe that I get. So that's the first holiday home. Join me in the second. Okay, so the second one was actually locked, which was this one. So I couldn't get into that one. This one, I don't know what it's called, because it doesn't say, but I'll go in and have a nosy. Okay, so as soon as we come in, we turn this way, and we have our master bedroom. That's more to my taste, colour-wise. So yeah, that's bedroom, or main bedroom. Then we've got a very, very tight twin, which I've noticed with a lot of these caravans, including our own. Um, it's, it's very tight. <laughs> so yeah, that's the twin. I'm assuming this is the bathroom. Yep. And then we have our kitchen. So I quite like how this one has an island here, which kind of closes it off a bit more from the living area. And then we have our living area. So very, very small, this one. Um, I wouldn't go for that choice of dining table. It's nice, it's, it's really nice, but I personally wouldn't find it comfortable. And it wouldn't be no good to Steve. I love this coffee table TV unit here. And I do like the couch, but you can tell people have been on here sitting down. <laughs> Let's tidy that up a bit. So yeah, very small this one, very small. Let's go to the next one. So this is our next one. It hasn't got a name, maybe you can call it something yourself. Oh no, St. David by Abbey. 
So let, this looks a bigger one. Let's go and have a look in here. Right, so already I'm liking that there's more cupboard space, big fridge, freezer. Yep, nice. Big cupboard area. I like storage. And we have a nice kitchen. Bit more modern this one, slightly. A little bit more to my taste. Still mm, so so. Very big seating area. So not too sure where you would put your TV apart from there. And you wouldn't get a very big television on there, would you? There's me in the mirror, hello. This is a bit too narrow for my liking. Have to go sideways. <laughs> and then we go through to the bedrooms and things. So this looks like a six bath maybe. We have shower room. It's a nice big shower. It's a bit like the one we've got in ours. And then our twin here. I will be going back in these with mum because she wants to have a look around them all. And then our master bedroom. I think this would be to my mum's taste. <laughs> Not mine. But yeah, that's that one. I'm not going to go around them all with you. <laughs> Some of you may be disappointed and like to have a nosy like me. But this video will be very, very long if I go in every single one of them. So I will see you guys later unless I find... A really nice holiday home that's completely to my taste and then I will show you guys it. Hey guys, so I think I found one to my taste. <laughs> this is also called St David. But the decor in here is much more my style. Okay, so we go in. We have a cupboard here and a fridge freezer. And a kitchen. This is more my style. Very, very nice. Lots of cupboard space. I'll do the living room in a minute. We'll go through here. So we've got the toilet, proper wash basin, and a nice shower. that then we've got boiler utility cupboard go down to the master bedroom yeah that's cozy that's really nice it's amazing how they can give off different feels you've got tv up there Nice amount of wardrobes. Hello again. <laughs> Come back down here. We've got twin room. Pretty standard. Then you've got your second twin room. It's so much more homely, this one. It's like proper wardrobe thing. dining area I could easily just like pick up and live in this holiday home like permanently this this is a bit me and then just come and sit here look and you feel like you're at home Very, very cosy and very much my style, colour wise, decor wise, 
very nice so that's that one i'll let you know if i find any more i like don't know how much this one is let's have a look let's go out and go around the front of it need decking with it and you're set to go so that one's £698.13 a month which is still quite a bit cheaper than my rent in my flat <laughs> um, obviously you'd have water rates, gas rates all that kind of thing in with it as well but it's just so tempting isn't it <laughs> Let's see, but this one's locked. Oh no, it's open. Let's have a mochi round here, shall we? Let's have a mochi. So again, nice cupboard areas. Quite a nice kitchen. I don't really like this. This is what we've got in our holiday home where you scooch around the table and the table is movable but yeah I don't really like it I like a table and chairs you can move the only problem is I'm not sure where my 65 inch TV would fit in any of these holiday homes <laughs> so let's go through here this is quite nice shower I like this bit of decor they've got going on there twin room it smells so new in here new carpets it's beautiful <laughs> i love that new smell bedroom yeah this one's not not gripping me the same bathroom a little ensuite and room for storage so yeah I'm going to carry on mooching around the caravans, or holiday homes. Not really, they are caravans, but they're not. I don't like calling them that. They're holiday homes. And uh, I'll see you in the next clip. I don't really know what this one is. It says for sale. And it's like crime scene, do not enter. <laughs> it's because it's for Halloween, obviously. But this one looks huge. Let's have... A moochie around here. Yeah, this is the lion. £1,278.75 per month. Let's have a look. Well, this is a bit luxurious, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, that's a bit bougie for my liking. <laughs> that's a bit bougie. Hello, I'm in the mirror. <laughs> it's coming. It's got an ensuite. So I've got a toilet. And a shower and sinks, twin sinks. And then it goes also into the living room that way. I could see my mum going, oh yeah, I want this one. <laughs> but no, it's a bit too bougie for me. I love this kitchen area. This is really pretty. Nice dining area, nice kitchen. And we've got a second master bedroom with a hand under the pillow. <laughs> and another... Oh, is that a dead body? <laughs> and with another ensuite shower room. So very, very nice. Um, but yeah, too bougie for me. The only bit I really like is is this living area. I like the kitchen, the dining room, and. This area but yeah very nice 
So I'm just walking back now to our holiday home. Um, I haven't gone down to the other area yet as I think my family will be back soon. <laughs> so whilst I've been going around with caravans and that I've obviously passed some time. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice little mooch around, little stroll. Just gave Steve a ring and they're like looking around here, there and everywhere. So this is us, number eight. Number eight, morning side. And uh, let's go inside. So we are in the Loire. There we go. So I'm back at the caravan and uh, looking a bit more windswept and dishevelled than I did before I went out. But yeah, it was a nice little walk. Um, I'm quite hot now because, you know, I power walk. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice bit of fresh air, nice little walk, nice little mooch around the caravans, around the, the site. Um, I will go down that other end at some point. But like I said, I think they're slowly making their way back home. So it makes sense for me to be here as I'm the one with the key at the moment. So what I think I'm going to do now is just maybe chill and play on the switch for a bit before they come home. Um, if we eat out tonight, I might take my phone with me and do some little clips. So this might end up being quite a long vlog, but hopefully you guys won't mind that because it is like a day in the life kind of vlog. And yeah, I've actually quite enjoyed filming it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it and I will either see you in the next clip or... Well, in fact, I will see you in the next clip because I'm going to continue the vlog. Editing Zoe here. I didn't, in fact, continue the next clip um, as they came home and I kind of ended the vlog there uh, later. So until then, take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next clip. Bye-bye.